I think we should do personal evangelism because the Bible tells us to do it. If we look, for example, at Acts, you see many different ways of sharing the Christian faith, faith and, and spreading the word. Um, public sermons, what we would call now maybe small groups, and a lot of personal evangelism. And in fact, you very often see the two going on side by side. And the same thing's true, which I guess is even more important, in the ministry of the Lord. If you think of, for example, John's Gospel, he's teaching the 5,000, but he's also meeting one-on-one -on -one with Nicodemus, the Samaritan woman, and other people. So evangelism isn't just a, a, an issue for pastors or for eva professional evangelists. Every Christian is called, biblically, to, to be an evangelist. I think also, as well as being biblical, it's also effective, because the age we're in is very suspicious of authority. In the UK where I live, people are very reluctant to come to church. When I was growing up, there was a big fringe of people who would come to church, maybe at Christmas and Easter, but that's not the case anymore. So if we say to our non-Christian friends, please come to church and hear a sermon, they're, they're quite likely to say no. It's a culturally alien experience. It would be like as if someone, a friend, said to us, please come to a casino, or a, what we call in England, a betting shop, right, where you go gambling. Um, but if we say to our non-Christian friends, would you like to read the Bible with me? Or we, we just talk in a very natural way. We'll reach a lot more people and it's likely to be more effective.